previously on Let's Play Football Manager 22, Sheffield Wednesday, we analyse our Cholton loss. Did we come up with anything from it? We're not too sure yet. We will continue tweaking our formations. From analysing our data, we decide that we need to bring in another couple of performance analysts, just see if it helps with that data. We use the option of next match only for our very first time. I think it's been around in the last few football managers, but let's see how we do with that. We struggle against League 2 Port Vale in the first round of the Carabao Cup, but we look at creating an attacking formation to try and get the win. And guess what? We win 2-0. With five minutes to spare on our second league game against Doncaster, we're winning 1-0. We decide we need to make a drop back all defensive formation and we see it through and we win. We get for win 1-0. Good day ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Football Manager 22 Sheffield Wednesday. In today's episode we continue our league journey. We also have an in-depth look at the new data hub to see if it can help us improve our tactical awareness or anything else off the field we can do to be a success. Have any of you used the Data Hub yet? Let me know in the comments section below. And has it made you change your tactics? Are you changing your tactics every game that you play? Or are you just sticking to one? Or actually you haven't even looked at Data Hub? Yeah, let me know. So let's not waste any more of your time and jump right in. Johnson has expressed confidence in Sunderland's title chances following your recent comments. How do you feel about the title picture now? I have great confidence in our squad. Now nah, let's not mention us too much. Callum Patson picked up the player for match award for your side today. How did you rate his performance? Right, he got four shots on target and he got the goal. I mean, he won us a game, right, by getting that goal. So, yep, expect more of the same. The rumours that you're still in the market for another player. No, we have no money. Can you speak about the relationship between you and Richie Willens? Don't know him, but I respect him. So yeah, back in winning ways, two clean sheets. Next game is again, home again. I always used to say when I played these games, these management games, uh, is at home, any game, I want for win. And away, I want minimum a draw. So if you can go for a whole season of winning all your home games and drawing all your away games, should be quite a successful season. Now, that kind of thought came about when I was probably about 12. It's not bad philosophy, but I think there's more to it. If I got off for five million for that, then would I take it? Bargain, right? Jeez, even if you pay 1.5 million. I mean, his goal scoring record is not great, but so far it's been a good start. Are you planning to rest Longo anytime soon, considering that the fixture list seems to be taking a toll on his fitness. I'd love to rest players. Uh, rotation is normal part of football. Will you be looking for the team to pick up from where they left off last time? We're nothing without hard work. I'm confident that we can go strength to strength like that. Given Barino doesn't seem to be a great style fit for this team at the moment, are you happy to use him against Fleetwood? He's under consideration. I'm considering dropping him. He hasn't been playing that great. I see no reason why he can't be trusted if you're picking holes in his game. You should also recognise what he does well. Let's, let's, get, let's keep positive for now. Just won two games. Lee Gregory appears to not just be a great fit in terms of your team's style, but also for squaring off against. Do you agree? How important are Lewis Wing's leadership credentials to your team? I think we rely on him as as a team. That's not about to change. Hmm. Okay. Wow, that was interesting question. Uh, look at all this high injury risk. It's probably just heavy, yeah, uh, heavy, heavy, light, light. Just try and think. When can I rest them? Fleetwood. Maybe this might be a good opportunity if they're full for. It's gonna be a tough game if they're full for all I mean, you look at your fixtures. I mean, there's a, there's a rest game. There's a rest game. I'm not going. I'm not taking Papa John's trophy serious at all. Yeah, that's going to be B team games. Op great opportunity. It's all about the league. Cup game maybe. 
rest players again for these games. I need my best players. Tactical meeting. Next match only. Yeah. Don't I have uh, opposition set automatically? Provides opposition instructions. Ah. Provides team selection advice. Yeah. Let's try and wonder why Red Captain coming up, that's why. Because I've got a lot of heavies. I think. Uh, Buyers is going to be dropped. For Wing. And Barino is going to be dropped for Gregory. That's it. We're going to change anything because that didn't quite sit. Uh, we did do a, a little change, didn't we? Which brought us a goal. Potentially brought us a goal. Just by doing, tweaking that again. Hit early crosses. I like for hit early crosses. Just the way we play. Let's distribute to playmaker. Centre backs aren't being jank. Submit. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for his one this time because I keep on changing it to this one, don't I? Um, let's try it. He got no greens. Um, not using that again. <laughs> Bloody useless assistant. Come on. That's where we lose now. I'm going to blame my assistant manager. Ah. Injury. I did get warned, but these players are heavy. Could get injuries. Don't want to play him out that wide. Play him in the middle. Bet XG. It's good. Back post. Oh, it's that possession. Jeez. They're really holding the ball, aren't they? That XG is good, though. 37% possession for our home team. That's awful. Maybe that's what we need to look at. But then again, 37% possession. We're having more chances but if we can get more say if we improve by five percent surely that five percent extra possession would give us even more chances we need more possession in the second half well there you go that's a good one i like it there you go um tactics maybe distributing to a playmaker we're losing the ball a lot maybe go back to center backs in this one in possession Playing shorter, maybe not so wide, so less wide. Back pass on out to our centre back, centre back can find our playmaker. Okay, 20 minutes to go. Our possession's gone up, XG's gone up. So that slight change has helped improve our possession, just the players aren't performing. Uh, what are they playing? 4 1 4. Does it? That just feels like counter attack. So if we went attacking against them, would that just screw us over? But it works against um, the other team. But then again, they had five up the back, three. They were playing five free teams or not. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it yet. Ten more minutes, and then I might go attacking. We're at home. I want to get the win. Hutchinson's got an injury. Two defenders out. And if I can bring Longo in centre back. And. Adrian, there. Can I do something like that and take the wing off? It's free subs, it's fine. Let's change personnel in the last 10 or so minutes. We will go attacking. Right after this replay, what way is it going to go? Oh, good ball into Johnson. Oh, I thought he was going to pass it to Barino. Corner. Oh, lucky. Right. I've got eight minutes to try and win this game. I hate those teams who just sit back for a draw. I don't know how far for the right pass now on. Uh, no. A bit like that, isn't it? You know what? Sod it. Just go for it. Can we get 15 seconds? Come on. Ball. Marvin Johnson. Oh well, it's one of those things. Look at that XG. You can't get any further apart. Just think possession. We was first half 87%. Ended second half on 45. So I wanted more possession to create more chances. We, yeah, we did everything we've asked. Um, I went 
I take it in the last eight minutes of a game. Yeah, overall, again, unlucky. Yeah, you're unlucky. Unlucky tonight, guys. Oh well, move on. No, don't want to risk him. Injury prone. How big of a moment was Marvin Johnson's late miss? I could have seen. I must admit, it's the game really reads reads into it, right? I mean, a lot of times you think, ah, oh, situational games and that. And then you go to a match conference and they just don't pick up on it. I must admit, I've done a hell of a lot of work on it. We take for positives from the match, but but for miss some um, the day up for us, it just wasn't to be, yeah. What did you make Callum, uh, make of Callum Patterson's bad day in front of goal? Four shots on target, created two, key passes two. He played well. Yeah. What are your thoughts about Khan's performance? He said, shot saved nine, five, wow, passes. Saves held. He made a lot of saves. Yeah. Did he get mana a match? That's one of the best goalkeeping displays I've seen in a long time. Uh, there's no doubt his quality. Yeah, he's, he's stopped us from winning, right? Birmingham manager Lee Bowyer was spotted in the crowd today following recent speculation that he is interested in signing Liam Palmer. How how would you be willing to discuss the deal? Yeah, never rule anything out in football. Alright, so this is the new data hub. I didn't really have a look. I think we've seen some bits of the key findings in it. But I would guess... Is this... Uh, just based on just overall, yeah, this season so far, general performance. If I could hover it over it, tell me where it is. I would presume goal, XG, and uh, is that conceded per game? What well, are they saying about conceded a lot? Or is that I'm doing well on, that I'm not conceding that many goals? But I'm not scoring that many goals, that's why it's a bit of a negative. XGA, XG against shots per game. Shot percentage, pass percentage. So I would presume this has to be looked at a positive. So yeah, goals is down because we're not scoring that many. Conceded is good because we're not conceding that many. Yeah, okay. Just need to score more goals then. From that, team attacking. Crossing percentage is good. Passing percentage is good. Dribbling. We just don't dribble. Do we need to dribble that much? If you're passing and getting ball upfield, but then again, is that why we're not scoring that many goals? Because we're not trying to dribble past our players, one on ones. Shots per game is good. Just, um, yeah, you know what? Shots per, if they're saying shots per game, shot percentage is good. We're just not converting into goals. Maybe that's what it is. We are performing above average in attacking stats. We are performing pretty close to average defensive stats. It's quite funny because I concede in fouls. Okay, fouls. We foul a lot. Stop playing Sam Hutchison. I mean, he came on, got a yellow card straight away. That's what he does though, doesn't he? Sets his mark. Okay. Yeah, that conceding must be a positive and not because one, two, three, four. Out of four games we conceded two. I mean, we're still positive in goals. Plus one. We will continue to try and tweak our tactic anyway, our core tactic. We've got our attacking tactic, it didn't pay off last game. Maybe I could have used it sooner. We nearly actually, nearly 94th minute, nearly got that win. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. And to be notified, click on the bell.